Welcome. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is theta equals negative 15 pi over 2. And what we want to do is determine the smallest and largest two coterminal angles. So this is a negative angle, right? And if I keep on subtracting um, revolutions, I'm going to keep on getting larger and larger negative angles, all right? Because um, remember, the measure, we're trying to find the smallest measurement that is both in the positive and in the negative direction. So let's just go and take a look at a sketch here real quick. Um, if we're looking, if we're going in the negative direction, well, this would be negative pi halves, right? So this would be pi. And what I do is I like to take my denominator. So this would be 2 pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. And then this would be, all the way around, would be 4 pi over 2. So if my angle is going in the negative direction, that's negative 4 pi. Here would be negative 8 pi. Here would be negative 12 pi. Then I go 13 pi, 14 pi, 15 pi. All right? You can see all these definitely revolutions. Now, when we're determining coterminal angles, what we say is, here's my initial side. right? This is the side that my angle started on. And here's the side that my angle is going to end on. So that's the initial, that's the terminal side. When determining coterminal angles, we need to find the angles that have the exact same initial and terminal side. So I could do that, and I can find infinite many coterminal angles by just keep on subtracting 2 pi. I'm subtracting because I'm talking about the negative direction. So I can just keep on going around and about, right? But that's just going to keep on giving me these larger and larger angles. I need to find the smallest to measure um, angle that's going to have the same initial and terminal side. So what I'm going to do, instead of subtracting, I need to go in this positive direction. So I'm going to add 2 pi. So we'll add 2 pi once. And remember, 2 pi, we're going to represent, oh, I'm sorry, 4, four pi over 2. We're going to represent 2 pi as 4 pi over 2 because they have the same denominator. However, that's one angle, but that's not really the smallest positive, that's not really the smallest negative angle, though, right? I can, I can add 2 pi again. And again, I'm saying I'm adding because I'm going in the positive direction. Oh, I didn't go all the way around. So I'll add 2 pi again. Oh yeah, that goes all the way there. OK, so then um, let's go ahead and subtract 2 pi again. Or I'm sorry, add 2 pi again. So by adding 2 pi again, you can see now this is the smallest coterminal angle that starts here and ends here. All those other ones were just extra circles, extra revolutions that we had. So now I need to determine, well, what is going to be all this? Well, 4 plus 4 plus 4 is going to be 12. Therefore, that's going to equal theta equals negative 3 pi over 2. And you guys can see if I add another revolution, right? If I add another revolution, I'm going to have this distance here, right? So therefore, my angle is no longer going to be in the negative direction. I'm now going to have an angle that's going to be in the positive direction. So to find that, I take theta equals negative 3 pi over 2, and I add 2 pi one more time. And when doing that, I get an answer of pi halves. So the smallest coterminal angles that's both negative and positive is going to be negative 3 pi over 2 and pi halves. Thanks.